Welcome to the Blue Zone. I'm Mazzy Mondragon, and today we're joined by our varsity boys basketball coach, Coach Van Dyne. Thanks for joining us, Coach. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Now, what are your goals for this season? Yeah, I think that's always a good question, but always a little bit harder as a coach because I don't think you ever want to set a ceiling on your, for yourself. Um, and I think you always want to be realistic as well. Um, but, but I think the biggest thing for us, obviously coming off and not so stellar year last year, um, is that's just trying to figure out how, how we can move forward and continually get better each day. Um, and I think that the way that we're trying to measure that right now is by, you know, how quality of practices are we having. Um, and, and I think right now the overall, uh, I think guys are playing harder. I think guys are more focused. I think the execution level is um, better than what it was in past years. So I think we're off to a good start with that. Um, obviously, uh, the first game starts with Clinton Prairie, a big one. Um, so obviously, you know, we all have the goal of coming out 1-0. and um, But at the same time, I think it is just to continually fight to get a little bit better each day. Oh, just looking at the roster that we have, um, size is going to be a, a little bit of an issue when it comes to rebounding. Um, so we have to be really disciplined um, to make sure that we find bodies, that we hit people, um, and then we out-pursue the opposition to get the board. I think that is the single biggest concern that I have right now just because uh, there is uh, not a whole lot of margin for error uh, because of the lack of size. But, but speed definitely makes up for a little bit on the long boards, um, but we got to do a good job of cleaning up inside. Nice. What is your strength as a team? Um, you, you know, it, again, like it, we're kind of doing a little bit of predicting, but I, I think overall team speed is one. Um, I, I, I think the willingness uh, to search for the best shot is another, um, and that's something that I don't think that we could always say in the past. Um, but, you know, I think, I, I think we're going to figure that out a little bit more once we get to the Prairie game. You always, you always learn a lot of things about yourself after that first, the first night out. Um, but at least so far in practice, I think it's just the willingness to share, uh, try to find what is best for us. Um, but I do think that we do have a good overall balance of talent on the floor. Uh, there is no one guy that is just going to be kind of the guy that we, we spread it out for so that he can make plays. It's going to be have to be together we attack. Um, so if we do that, I think we'll be in good shape. During practice, are you an energy giver? Or is your enthusiasm contagious to your staff <laughs> and places? Well, I think the opposite to energy giver is an energy taker. So I better go with I'm an energy giver. Um, otherwise, I don't think I'm doing my job as a coach. Um, but, but I think, uh, you know, it, you know, you say energy giver sometimes and, you know, people expect that you kind of have that like cheerleader like mentality. Um, and I think that I think that you can give energy by telling the truth. Um, I think that uh, by telling the truth, I think that gives a little bit more energy because then when you start saying good job, um, it carries a little bit more weight. Um, so, you know, I think I've, I've always kind of fallen into the, you know, there, there's never a bad time to tell the truth. Um, but, but yeah, definitely, you know, we're going to try to get our guys going. We're going to try to get them fired up and uh, we're going to try to get them playing the, playing the uh, best basketball that they can play. We graduated four seniors last year, um, uh, and you know I think uh, arguably you could argue that um, there were four of our better players as far as talent goes. So we lost a lot of minutes that were played. We lost a lot of uh, statistical production, um, but you know I think that we're at the point now to where you can't really look at what you what you lost. Uh, we got to deal with what what we have. Um, and what we do have are we've got three seniors uh, that are returning uh, that have done a phenomenal job as far as playing with effort, doing what is asked of them, um, leading, um, and and we've got a, we've got uh, I think in my mind we've got four juniors if I'm counting correctly, um, and we've got two sophomores that are with us. So um, we we have a really good core group. I, I like how sometimes you can get a little bit overloaded with seniors to where in the following year you're depleted a little bit. But I like the balance that we have. I like I like um, us having a few sophomores that are up here, knowing that we we should have those kids for a while. Um, but I, but I do think that we've got kids that are playing playing well together right now, which I think sometimes is the most important thing in game one. 
Cam Williams, uh, Trey Frazier, and Braden Compton, as far as the three seniors, they've really assumed the leadership roles. Um, and, and they're demonstrating the effort that you need to play with. Um, they're demonstrating the knowledge that we need to have. Um, I, I think overall, just the communication level has got to get better. Um, and typically, the, that's a trait of all good teams. Uh, so I think for us, having the goal of being a good team, I, I think in reality, that, that's something that everybody has to start to step up and start doing better is communicating. So. Um, you know, those three guys are playing a key role, but uh, at the same time, everybody's got to step in uh, to fill, um, fill, fill the void of some of the losses that we had, but also the needs of the team. Thank you, Coach. That's all the time we have today. We wish you the best of luck. Welcome. Appreciate it, Oz.